you also know that, too, if you have a smaller account and you can't buy contracts on the queues, then get TQQQ. That'd be more of a sizable option for your smaller account. So for five, we have already, last Monday during Power Hour, we already entered the loan. So we're currently up on that particular position. But we also mentioned if you in the Dow too in DIA, but we currently mentioned too, we set an alert last night on the week planning call for a crossing up above the 800 on the daily chart for TQQ. Now we mentioned since this one hasn't set up yet, and it's the reason why it hasn't set up, keep in mind all your tech companies have had bad earnings. So they have tanked the, tanked the NASDAQ. So it has to catch up to where the S where the S and P at and the Dow is at. So it's making its way on up. Perfect W pattern on the daily chart. Um, we're gonna take this call position once it breaks the 800 GMA on the daily chart. And we also mentioned too, since TQQQ is a little bit far away from the 800 on the daily chart, when it confirm on QQQ, you can go ahead and take your position on TQQQ. This is both of them moving in the exact same direction. So. When it confirm on QQQ, you can go in and take your position on TQQ for people who have smaller accounts. You know, the chat box, everybody understand that that would be that way. You won't miss it if you have missed it for SPY and DIA. So if, if you still want to get a position on SPY for that, let it pull back some and then get in. Thursday will actually be the day to get in on SPY. Last Thursday, because it's the only day we had a big drop. Um, Friday, we had a big run up, and today we had a nice run up. So we 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 in good position on this to ride it all the way out into December. So, but if you did miss five and DIA, focus on QQQ. But um, this is a play that we have put in the report. This is third year running as an eighty five percent win ratio over fifty years. So um, we continue to play this play. We don't have any crazy fundamentals out there other than the market setting this up for us perfectly across all fronts, including all your country ETFs, too. So if you want to actually trade some of the ETFs for some countries, especially like China, Taiwan, uh, Japan, um, India, all them, their indexes are also set up with the same exact um, pattern, so in the exact same position. So we can actually take positions on those particular country indexes as well, their ETFs as well, if you wanted to. Um, other than that, I don't think it's Brandon on the call. If he's not on the call, I'll go over. He's on the call. What's going on, bro? Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Everything good, bro. How about you, man? Hey, can't complain over here. Just got back from uh, trick-or-treating with the family and uh, hopped on here real quick to, uh, to to bless you guys with some report sauce and uh, we'll go and make some money tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you scroll up just a little bit. Okay. Uh, Can you see little... the whole page? Yeah, right there. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Hey, I appreciate you. Um, yeah, so this month, um, I try to put in uh, some stocks that have about an 87% and higher um, advantage. So the stocks you see up there at the top, um, what the play is, is what I like to do is I like to enter these um, on the first trading day of the month or a bearish predictable day. And uh, they have a very, very high probability to play out. So um, we are buying uh, middle of the third Friday of December's expiration just to give us the luxury to cost average in one time if need be, um, or you could buy shares in your retirement account. Um, so this month, we got McDonald's MCD, we got Microsoft MSFT, we got Triple M, we got Cisco, we got NVIDIA, and we got MU Long. So I'll be looking to take some long positions in these uh, tomorrow. And uh, for the short side, we have EA and we have MDLZ. Uh, MDLZ has a very, very high probability. Uh, last year, I, I believe we made about 75 or 80% in like a couple of days. So we were all pumped about that one. And it uh, has a strong tendency to push to the downside. Um, in the middle, we have OTCs. These are high risk, high reward type plays. Um, we've been holding these for quite a few months, um, cashing in and out. Uh, these are all at, at great opportunities, in my opinion. And uh, I'm going to do, uh, I'm, I'm going to look for some some new stocks to add into this on the OTC side. What you do is you, you buy some shares and uh, typically before it's a news event, it'll run up in there, give us a good probability to, uh, to, to get 100, 200% ROI and uh, we'll play out. The problem is, is 
Sometimes it takes uh, weeks um, to do this or maybe months. So if you're not into tying some of your capital up, then I wouldn't recommend them. But uh, I'm just sharing with you, I have some of those. All right, moving right along, the retirement shares. Uh, we believe um, you trade to make a transaction and get your money now. And uh, what do you do with some of the money that you have? So we believe that you should get a foundation account going down. Um, I think these shares or these companies are at great values to add into a retirement account, or even if you're a parent and you want to bless your children with some shares. Uh, but right now, everything um, looks to be potentially uh, undervalued. And I think it's a good opportunity to buy into these. Most of these will pay a dividend. So just for holding them, you will get uh, typically 2% to 7 or 8% a year. Uh, with whatever capital you have, and you'll get uh, money back for that. I drip mine, so it's it's adding more shares for free. So I just keep compounding it. Uh, down here at the bottom, these are leaps. These have a 92% higher probability. Uh, me and Mike were actually talking about this um, when we were at the we we're at Atlanta, and we realized that some of these leap trades, none of them took a loss this uh, this year yet. So we got to say 92% because we want to ensure you guys use proper risk management. Uh, this month, um, I'm going to be taking positions in Fast, Honeywell, and McDonald's Long. So what happens is, is we have a very, very high probability to get expansion to the upside um, over the next three months. And <clears throat> with that being said, I will take some options about nine months to a year out. And uh, I'll be looking to sell out within the first three months. That's just me. So some of these, I can't control when they, they play out. Some happen in a day or two, might give you 50, 7,500% return. Um, others might take uh, three or four weeks, but they they have strong probabilities, like we said. But other than that, um, that's that's what I got on uh, the stocks and shares side. Uh, let's make some money and uh, let's have fun doing it. So, hey, I appreciate you, Mike. Hey, appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Um, if if you guys, if anybody on this call was in DCG last year, just want to keep you know, make sure you know that Honeywell was a banger, one of, one of the biggest bangers last year. A lot of people made a lot of good money on Honeywell last year. You got it this year for one of your leaps in November. That's when your stock plays have played out perfectly in November last year. So keep in mind, like we said, a lot of these plays right here, they are. Um, a 90% probability they play over it year after year after year. So make sure everybody knows too. If you attend these calls and you get the report, make sure make sure you get you utilize Google Calendar because this stuff comes right back around. So you can put the money on the schedule. You know, when November come around, hey, you're looking at Honeywell, um, on McDonald's, you're looking at you're looking at Spy, you're looking at Costco, you're looking at Microsoft. You put all them on a schedule. So when you comes back around, that that month comes back around, you know that you know what you can actually trade. Um, one thing I forgot to put in the report, um, and I thought about it last night on the weekly planning call, flu season is here. So I just put it in a newsletter last night and I sent it out, but I meant to put this in the report. I just thought about it late, but, um, flu season is here. Um, majority of you guys probably know kids, kids, some um, getting sick. You've been hearing all about a flu outbreak. You've been hearing about people getting sick and stuff like that. Um, so flu is here. Um, we actually look at some of the things that you can actually do to take advantage of the flu season from a profit standpoint. Um, you have Pfizer. You also have a couple other manufacturers that make the flu shot. So this was a conversation that we had last night, too. Um, who is some of the main or the large manufacturers for the flu shot? And, and also, how can you take advantage of the moxicillin, supposed moxicillin shortage they say that's out there? So. Um, I found a few stocks that are, you know, manufacturers for these particular drugs and that actually play along with the seasonality and also play along with the flu season once it comes out and when it's peaked. So the majority of you guys know flu normally peaks around, it's starting right now, but it normally peaks around the winter months, like coming in December, January. So going back and just knowing that information right there and going back to the stock or going back to the stocks of the company that make these six drugs, they have it follows the flu season cycle. So um I recommend I recommend and that's how we make another low or coming into December or when you hear more news on T V or on the news about hey flu is it's up is an uptick in flu cases across such such amount of states, I will start looking to buy um call call contracts in these particular stocks. So um, I will put this in the chat box just in case nobody saw it. 
in the Facebook group. But that is something you can take advantage of. Um, we also look that if you looked at majority of stuff coming into September when flu shots are starting to be issued and you hold it going into December and going into throughout the flu season, you actually be getting in at the bottom on a lot of these plays and you can ride them out throughout the whole flu season until it peaks on out in the spring. So um, <clears throat> that's just one more thing you can take advantage of too as well um, going into this season. So we, we got a lot of plays that make money on, so we just trade a quality and just make the money. Let's see. We got Miss Willette. You got anything else, ma'am? <laughs> no, you can close it on out or we can send them on, on their way. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to let you guys get on back to that sugary candy. I take <laughs> the question out, so I'm going to keep that candy to myself. But, um, <laughs> hey, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you, Brandon. Hey, you guys have a Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Brother Mo, because I'm definitely about to go do this. <laughs> I'm getting all the NFTs. <laughs> appreciate you, bro. Hey, other than that, I appreciate everybody. Y'all have a blessed night and a safe one, and I'll talk to you guys later on.